Talk to Pat about the Lev- uh, her Levittown roots. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We, we're going to have to do that, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right. So good morning, Hopog High School community. It is Monday, June 1st. We have made it to June. We have made it to June. So any way that you uh, think about the end of the year, we are no more than 20 school days left in the school year. Um, We know that teachers and students have been talking a little bit about uh, finals, finals projects, et cetera. And your uh, your teachers are really driving the show in relation to how they're winding down the school year with their students in their classes. Um, And if you have questions about what that looks like for any specific class that you're in, connect with the teacher. I'm sure they're able to articulate what's going on with the, in the specific class, depending on the student, just depending on the situation, um, what the rest of your year looks like academically, you know, it takes on one form or another. Um, but, but please reach out to your teachers directly if you have questions about what, what is going on with a final or final project or final exam or, or whatever it might be to finish out the year. Um, quickly, we, uh, got a lot going on in this country right now. Um, you know, do, do all you can to kind of keep your, your head in a balanced way and, uh, you know, stay focused on what you can control and what's in your direct, um, you know, availability to, to have, uh, influence on. My grandmother on my dad's side would often, um, you know, talk about the the prayer of controlling what you can control and, and not really widening um, your worry too much beyond that. And I guess that's kind of the message of the day. Um, but hello, Hot Pog. It is June 1st, 20 school days left officially. Um, but again, connect with your teacher specifically if you have questions about what that looks like for you. We are in June. We made it. Joe Whitehorse, say what's up. Good morning, Hopog. Happy Monday and happy June. Can't believe it, but we're here. Crazy. Joy. I can't believe I haven't seen you all since last month. <laughs> happy month. It's a great day to be alive. Enjoy all of life's little blessings. And don't let the big stuff get you down. We'll get through this, Hopog. Christy. Good morning, Hop Hog. Uh, we miss you. I hope you all had a great weekend and uh, just keep pushing forward. Maria. Good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Like since last month, it's it's true. Uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, it's supposed to warm up as the week goes along. I actually heard it's supposed to be in the mid 80s by Thursday. So, um, the sun should be great. And that's Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Pat Termine, welcome to the show. Hi, everybody. Um, I just like to say that I wish that um, everybody, at least once a day, says something really nice to somebody to make their day better. Awesome. Thank that's you, Pat. Cool. Ruthie. Uh, good morning, Hot Pog. Uh, is my is my mic on? Yeah, you're good. I can't see it. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, good morning, Hot Pog. Um, yeah, we still miss you. <laughs> miss miss seeing my kids, but I had a couple of good Google Meets that I enjoyed and and uh, over the weekend with kids, and and I'm happy to see them. And uh, happy June. Yes, happy June. Happy June. Um, I, I mentioned this already. We we try to keep things a little light here we we acknowledge some heaviness that rolls in um of which there's not a shortage of right now and uh we'll kind of continue to take that angle here but but please know that we um we're aware that there's there's uh just an incredible tension incredible amount of worry and anxiety in so many directions about so many things right now whether it's um with uh, recent deaths, recent protests, the pandemic, 
financial worries, whatever it might be, are um, conversations while they don't always touch on them directly, know that we are, we're thinking about those things. Um, and our role here is really to just kind of provide a, a space where we can come together as a community and, and, and connect a little bit. Um, so, so hot hog, stay strong. We know it's hard. In that, Joe, that's like the third or fourth straight day where I feel yeah, like I'm you keep it, it's really positive, good segues. And, <laughs> and then it's like sports with Joe. Go for it. That, there you go, James. We're to break it down. Yeah, he breaks it down all the time. Yeah. Good job. We are, uh, you know, brought to you. Courtesy. Thank you. you won't hear the sponsor because he'll keep screaming over it. So we're just going to jump right into the report. That's right. So. <laughs> oh, here. Here's some pairs. Right. Right, so what happened in sports? So one major thing has been going on. The. Major League Baseball owners and players have been going back and forth. And yesterday, the players formally proposed their rebuttal to the owner's proposal. It would include a 114-game season uh, that would start June 30th and end on Halloween. Um, and they would add two postseason teams per league. That's their proposal. And there's also, in their proposal, no salary cuts or reductions. So... The owners and the players are very far apart. The only thing they seem to agree upon is that there will be, um, you know, more postseason teams and um, hopefully at some point a season. So we'll see. Hopefully they work that out over the next week or week and a half. There was also you. Do they have a start date for that? The, player, the players proposed. June 30th. The owner's proposal didn't have a start date, but my guess would be around the 4th of July. I think that would be really cool if, you know, it's 4th of July, baseball starts. That would be kind of, that would be Can you imagine? epic. Hopefully we got some good future sport art events, like when this, you know, when we break through, yeah. there'll be some good rebirthing of some things. I hope so. Well, we, we know for sure hockey's coming back. We know... Um, the next part is basketball. They're probably coming back to uh, a hub city. You know, I've been hearing the worldwide of sports. I've heard, which is in Orlando. So we'll see what they agree upon as well. So we'll have sports soon. We've had some sports like UFC, NASCAR, but not our uh, big four sports that we're used to. Uh, if you're looking for something to watch tonight, not really much on, but New York sports fans, if, if you've been following, if you're a Mets fan, they're replaying the Mets 2015 postseason run on SNY. Right now, they're showing the NLCS when they beat the Cubs. So that's on tonight. Almost there, James. Um, they're also, you can watch some Yankees games on Yes. They're on tonight. And if you want to watch football, there's some on ESPN. The game between the Seahawks and the 49ers last year is on, which was a pretty epic ending from what I remember. Um, and on this day in history, in 2012, the New York Mets had their first no-hitter in history, team history, by Johan Santana. That was their first and only no-hitter at this point. And if any of you are Mets fans, you remember that this really derailed Johan Santana's career because he was pitched, he threw a lot of pitches in that game, and he was not the same after that. So in typical Mets fashion, things were derailed soon after the good news. Um, and I can't believe I missed this. I have to add a correction to Friday, but I felt the pressure Friday because you skipped our correspondences on Thursday. And so I had to catch up on a lot on Friday. But do any of you know what happened 25 years ago on Friday? There's a lot of Yankee fans in the... That in the, be 95. 95. That was the year before they won the World Series, right? Did That's they go correct. strike? Was it the strike? What happened? No, strike? this was the year after the strike, so they came back. This was the year they lost to the Mariners in the division series, <laughs> and it started their run of four World Series in five years the year after. Mattingly announced his retirement? I don't know. No, but that's a good guess. I like the thought. It was actually, instead of a retirement, it was more of a, a birth. Jeter debut. Derek Jeter made his debut for the New York Yankees 25 years ago on Friday. Uh, he did not play a lot that year, but one of the most underrated moves by a manager in sports history was Buck Showalter, who was the manager at the time, let Derek Jeter travel with the team when they played Seattle in the division series. And Jeter credits that with helping him become such a good postseason player going forward. Because he, while well, he didn't play, he got to experience it. 
Did he dress? Did he dress? Say that again. He got dressed. He did. He did. Did he have a uniform he, on, or he just traveled I, with him? To be in the dugout, you have to have the uniform on. So he had the uniform. I don't know if I he was dressed. Know. But um, as many of you know, he won won Rookie of the Year the next year, and the Yankees won five World Series during his career, which was incredible. What a, what a cool story! I didn't know that. That's yeah. So that that's my little tidbit to you know transition from your opening. So now it's back to you, Chris, and over to Joy. Nice job, Joe. James, good contributions, my man. Good contributions. He's translating into baby for any other babies watching. <laughs> Joy Ferrara, this day in history or whatever, give us an update. Can't make this up. It's so great. Okay, so today is, uh, we have a lot of great things going on today. So believe it or not, today is National Go Barefoot Day which happens to be one of my favorite days. But National Barefoot Day actually originated in 2004 from a group called Souls for Souls. And it occurred after one of uh, the major tsunamis in 2004 and was about donating gently used shoes. So today is a great day to, after you go for your walk, to go into your closet and shoes that you just don't wear any longer, that you, Put in a box, maybe it's in, at the back of your closet, go through and bag them up and call big brothers and sisters and donate those shoes that you're just not wearing because today is National Go Barefoot Day and it's also um, donating gently used shoes. Today is also National Hazelnut Cake Day. Um, hazelnut is a is a small nut. It's a random kind of a day, but uh, if you enjoy flavored coffee, hazelnut and coffee pair well. Um, hazelnut and chocolate also pair well. So if you uh, are in the mood to eat some hazelnut cake, remember, if you eat it standing up, everybody, it doesn't count. Doesn't count. Here we go. Today is also nail National Nail Polish Day. Go figure. Um, nail polish, which I didn't know, dates back to 3000 BC. Um, it was used uh, during Egyptian times, and uh, who would know that it would stick all this time? Okay. Uh, by the way, um, I can't wait for manicurists and salons to open back up again because my nails are a wreck. Amen. <laughs> National World reef awareness day um just a reminder to continue to recycle and protect our reefs and here's something that's really important today is also national say something nice day now more than ever remember we don't have to agree on anything to be kind to one another so Folks, if you have younger uh, kids in the house, have them make a really uh, a nice note for a neighbor and uh, just stick it in the mailbox. Hang some positive messages on uh, the doors or windows of your house, but it, say something nice to somebody in the house today. You know, my mom used to say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And I think that's really important. But remember, we don't have to agree, agree on anything to be nice to one another. So enjoy your Monday. Happy June 1st. Um, and uh, looking forward to our correspondence tomorrow. Beautiful. Happy June 1st. And happy June 1st to Christy Paglieri, who uh, actually celebrates her birthday on June 1st. What's up, Christy? Happy birthday. Woo, woo, woo. Thank you. Um, uh, and we got a nice day here for your birthday too. Yeah, it, looks like. yeah, it was a gorgeous weekend. Um, sun rose five twenty two this morning. Uh, my kids let me sleep in for my birthday, so I didn't get to see that today, which is nice. Uh, so that's <laughs> at eight eighteen. <laughs> um, Fifty five right now, mostly sunny. Going to have a little bit of clouds later on, high in the sixties, um, but overall pretty beautiful. Forty seven percent humidity, slight slight wind, but. Looks like it's going to be a great day. So once you guys are all done with your work, get outside, get some air, get some sun, and enjoy the weather. Beautiful. And happy birthday, Christy. Thank you again. Maria, 
talk to us about the weekend for, related to you know dinner or whatever you had going on this weekend, and then um, and then we got planned for dinner tonight. But go for it. The floor is yours. Actually, the weekend was really nice. The weather was absolutely incredible. Um, you know, I did a few things, you know, in the backyard yesterday. My daughter that lives in Long Beach came and I don't mean this in a wrong way, but she came without her husband. So it was really nice just to spend time with her. <laughs> you know, it's, a little, it's a little different. I mean, I, I love her husband. He's a great guy, but you know, I, I'm glad he chose to stay home. And we had an absolutely wonderful, wonderful time. Maria, do your kids watch the show? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I did make Stromboli and I sent it back for him, so. Do they know that you do this every day and that you're kind of like a star of Hot Pog right now? My kids do know I do it. Um, periodically, my son, if he is up, will come by and go, oh, you're sitting there talking again on your meeting? <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, they all have good sense of humor. They would, they, they wouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah, I think um, if, if they're your children, it's likely they're pretty funny. So that's, it's, uh, yeah. I'm sure they got it. Yeah, they, they're all good. And uh, you know, I actually sent back, um, you know, some stromboli for him that I had made. So he's very happy with that. And I enjoyed my daughter. Um, I do have a question. I don't know if any of you guys can help me out. I mean, today I'm going to make uh, pesto chicken for dinner. Yeah. Actually, uh, Joy, I was making pesto. And I know traditionally people use pine nuts. I use walnuts a lot. Um, out of all of them, I did find a bag of shelled hazelnuts. And I did, I did put it in, and it's absolutely wonderful. So there's another use for hazelnuts. Um, my question, and it's a little bit of an odd question. I don't know if anybody can help me out. Good chance nobody can. It's trivia? No, it's not trivia. It's a recipe. Um, I took out from the freezer a bag of squid rings. Uh, usually I'll put it in sauce and I'll make a sauce with, you know, that. Um, one of my daughters likes making fried calamari. I'm not really in the mood for either one. I want to make a salad, and I've had a wonderful, wonderful octopus salad, and I know it had celery in it. I know it had onions. I believe it was vinegar. I'm not sure what else. Can anybody help me out? Yeah, olive oil. Olive oil. Uh, uh, usually red wine vinegar in a seafood salad, uh, chopped up garlic, onion, celery. Do you have any uh, shrimp, Maria? Mm, my daughter has shrimp. She has shrimp. I could get shrimp from her. Yeah, you put some shrimp, some uh, lemon juice. Lemon juice, yeah. And you saute it? Saute it and just throw it all together and chill it? Yeah. I will do that today. Enjoy. It's Evu. <laughs> Isn't it? Right? Do I have that? Evo? Extra yep, power. I use the extra virgin stuff. Good, good. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, let us know. Take a picture of that. Send it to us. I'm, I'm curious. I love a good seafood salad. Uh, Pat, you, welcome to the show. Um, we're doing shout outs next round. What do you got for a correspondency today? Uh, I was emailing my students today, uh, which was, um, let's see, Rick and also Mallory which was nice. I'm getting a lot of, lot of uh, emails from Gio. Gio yep. has now got my email. <laughs> good, good, you'll get some more. What's up, Gio? I know you're out there, buddy, say, say what's up. Hey, hey. Miss you. Excellent, Ruthie, in the world of art and performance, what do you got In the on? world of art, well, first I gotta say, I think I said it before that Sadie Pink is used to babysit for Gio. Do you That's know that? Right. Yeah. And so so we were just talking about Gio at dinner the other night because whenever there's a show, Gio makes sure that Sadie Pincus is coming to the show. It's wonderful. He lets her know which night he's coming so that she can come on the same night. So that's kind of cool. That is um cool. so Gio, we mi we're missing you in the Pincus household too. Um so yeah, 
is there stuff going on in the arts today? <laughs> is there stuff you ask? What about tonight? Well, tonight. That, that's, I'm here for that reason. How I, I'll uh, fill you in. Well, first, first I'll tell you about that because that's the most important thing tonight at 730. Um, I think you have it posted right on, on yeah. the high school classroom. Um, you can see the Roger Reese Awards, um, which will be featuring our Hop Hog nominees. Uh, Katie Dolce and Vincent Girardi. And um, I'm really excited to watch because I know these kids have been putting in some time and um, they've been nominated. The Roger Reese Awards are a step before the Jimmy Awards, which are the national awards for musical theater high school kids. So it's, it's really exciting stuff. And uh, these guys are really hard workers. So watch them tonight. You can live stream it. There's a link on the high school classroom and you can live stream it. It starts at 7.30. It should be about an hour long. And um, I'm super, super excited about, about seeing these guys. They're doing it virtually this year. Usually they do it in a Broadway house. Um, so that's kind of cool. And that's, that's the big hop hog news. So since there's not too much to watch in sports tonight, I, I think I can quote you on that, Mr. Whitehorse. Um, I think that's what you said. So there's plenty of hop hog to watch tonight on online or live stream it. Um, at the same time, a uh, couple of things this weekend, unfortunately, we lost uh, a really incredible playwright. His name is Larry Kramer, who was a real activist in the theater community with Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS and the LGBT plus um, community. Um, during the whole AIDS crisis, he was really a big deal. And he wrote a beautiful, beautiful play called the Normal Heart, which was um, on Broadway and won three Tonys. And then that particular piece, The Normal Heart, was also um, done as a film. I don't know if you saw it with Mark Ruffalo and uh, Alfred Molina. It's a great, great film um, uh, about the AIDS crisis. So it's a little, a little hard to watch, but it really gives you a bird's eye view of what these people lived through historically. Um, Today in History, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, um, opened on Broadway, which is like one of my all-time favorites. We've done that a couple times up in room 381 with our musical theater class. And it's a great piece, it's great for kids, but it opened um, in 1951 on Broadway. And interestingly, it started out as an off-Broadway show, a very small show, um, and was tremendously, tremendously um, loved. And then it moved to Broadway and it only lasted 32 performances because it's such a, you know, it's a unique, small, tiny show and it just didn't translate to Broadway. But, um, but it's done by high schools and, and theater programs all across the country now. I mean, they, it, it gets done a lot. So that's a great show. Um, today is Morgan Freeman's birthday. If you know oh. who he is. Who? And we, we, I who? think we know who Morgan Freeman is, yeah. Good, good. So Morgan Freeman's birthday is today. And, um, yeah, there's 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 lots of arts to do. Um, at two o'clock, there's uh, the Merry Wives of Windsor is on the Globe. Um, so if you're done with your homework early and you're looking for something to watch, that's great. And uh, that's the story. But watch tonight, Roger Reese Awards. We're we're gonna have it on. No joke, uh, Ruthie. This weekend, yeah. my we did like all yard work and we're outside and my daughter comes up and she says, when am I going to get to watch the rest of, um, of uh, Footloose? And I said, oh. funny you mentioned that. I'm supposed to get a DVD soon. <laughs> you are. I should have brought it to school. <laughs> I, I could have dropped it off. I'm sorry. You'll get it. I'm not even it. making that story up. That was an accurate, like out of nowhere. When, when are we going to watch the rest of Footloose? Good, good. Soon. See how Soon. Ruthie Pincus is going to creep in and create some performers in your family. It yeah, happens. She, That's it, the way it, it works. It is. And, and other fun fact, I'm listening to this book right now called The Black Elk Speaks, which is about uh, a Native American named Black Elk. That's not why I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up because they, the part I'm at right now is they're talking about the Wild Wild West show that was in the late 1800s, early 1900s, where they would take these incredible shows around the country. And the part that I just listened to was that they went and performed um, for the Queen of England. And it was like this massively uh, renowned show 
um, a really interesting kind of brought the whole stagecoach with him to yeah. Europe and, and did these performances in England that were like epic. Uh, but anyway, that's what, you know, made me think of you a little bit. Annie Get Your Gun is a musical that's completely about Wild Wild West. I was Buffalo Bill in the eighth grade play. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> of course you were. The last so you performance know, I've been in know before Hot Hog High School stage took me back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, they, they trained you pretty well. So far, so good. Yeah, you know, done, not done good. well. Singing part next year. Singing part Singing. next year. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're All on right. it. All right. Uh, and that brings us to a sh our shout outs of the uh, of the day. Too many shout outs to give. Um, I think this is really just to the collective effort between students and and uh, and teachers right now. We have 20 days of academic work left on the calendar. There'll be certain days where you're pushed more than others over the next 20 school days for sure. So um, keep keep clawing, keep fighting. You've done an extraordinary uh, amount of work thus far through this in incredible experience. Um, in total, on June 26, we'll be away from each other 106 days, calendar days, and it'll be a total of 75 school days. So pretty extraordinary amount of time. Keep keep fighting. The, the end is near. The end is near. j Dubs, go for it. All right. Shout out for me goes to all first responders and um, healthcare workers right now that are just continuing to help us bring down the numbers um, and help people that are affected by this virus. So, uh, you know, we respect you. We're with you and just hope for your health as well. Thank you, Joy. So I wanna give a shout out to our students um, <clears throat> in Hop Hog. You know, it's very uncertain times on a whole lot of levels. And um, I was speaking to uh, a few students on Friday afternoon and they were, you know, sharing uh, feelings with me about, you know, things that are happening in our community and, um, and across the, uh, our nation. And uh, so I encourage them, I'm going to encourage you to use your voice. Um, it's one voice can make a difference. Writing letters to our elected officials, sending emails. Now you have some extra time on your hands to, to think about what are ways to use your voice to make positive change. And we encourage you to do this. So I'm sending you a big shout out, sending you virtual hugs. You know, where uh, the finish line is in sight. Um, Keep your eye uh, on, uh, let's see, the quote was, um, keep your eye upon the donut and not upon the hole. You got this, Hop Hog. Hang in there. See you soon. Kristen. Hi, so I'm going to give a shout out to our seniors. Um, I know this is not the way that you expect to end your high school career, but I applaud you and um, for how you keep pushing on and how you inspire all of us to be happy. And all the seniors that I've talked to are still smiling. Um, now that they're easing up a little bit, please get, you know, get out there, try, social distance, keep connections and try to really make the best of your last month of high school. Um, good luck to you all. And I hope you enjoy every second. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, I'm going to give a big shout out to everybody in the community, everybody who works in the community, um, that we all have a absolutely wonderful month, and then just move on. Hi, I'd like to give a shout out to all the people, all my colleagues, and all the kids, students in uh, life skills. I miss them very much. I miss my colleagues very much. And I wish them a very good week. Ruthie, go for it. Okay. Um, I'm going to reserve today's shout out for the Drama Club and Vincent and Katie. Wishing them well. Excited to see them. And uh, Drama Club, missing you guys. But uh, hang in there. We got lots of drama to do. That's it. Excellent. I don't know what other kind of talent there is or what craftsmanship there is out there, but 
I think Vincent and Katie are tremendous. If they if they don't win, it's 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 rigged. It's rigged. No, they. they uh, I'm really excited to see tonight. Um, yeah. In the event that people miss it, do you think there'll be uh, like a reshowing of it? I I think there might be. I'll find out to, today. We'll find out today. They they did not. You know, they're not publishing that because they want people to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. So whenever you, you know the aftermath too, we'll we'll kick out the the link. But uh, we're gonna watch it live in the cookhouse and. And hopefully uh, have some fun seeing some good stuff. So uh, cool. thank you, everybody. June is here. For those of you who have been paying attention, June came after May. <laughs> and we are in a good place to go. We are here. All right. Peace out, everybody. Have a wonderful okay, day. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. bye. Okay. Bye, kids. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Have a great day. Thanks for being a part of it. My pleasure.